Welcome to the Digital Production Buzz at the 2015 NAB Show. Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this interview was recorded live on the trade show floor. For more information, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. If you've been participating in video for even a short amount of time, you've heard about JVC. You know that JVC makes a range of cameras, but you may not understand exactly everything that JVC is doing. And that's where our next guest has such an important role to play. His name is Dave Walton. He's the Assistant Vice President for Marketing Communications. And I think this is about the sixth year you've been on the show, and it's fun every time you're on. Thanks for coming back. Well, this is year number 35 for me coming here to NAB. So <sighs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's always a pleasure. It's the third day of the show, so it's a time to just relax a little bit and that's a good thing because we're we're constantly hyped and we have so much going on in the booth that uh, it's hard to ever get a moment to just sit down and take a breath there's no relaxation at NAB it's really a par it's really when exhaustion kicks in and you've moved from from adrenaline to exhaustion you hit that wall it's about day three when that kicks in and then you stop caring I think is the real point it's, no, it's, we, it's, care. <laughs> we care we care we're, we're already planning for the next year's uh, NAB and I do believe that that. Help me understand, the buzz at the show these days is going to companies like HAA and Blackmagic Design with, with their new cameras. And How does a, a company like JVC position themselves against the newcomers? Why should people even consider JVC products? Well, uh, traditional camera manufacturers have been in business for a long time, and I think it's important to understand some of the things that are behind the cameras. There's really, in this day and age, there are some fundamental technologies that go into building a camera that if you have the infrastructure and the knowledge to do it, you can build a camera. Uh, for example, the design of the imager chips. A lot of people buy those from some third party company. JVC actually designs and builds the imagers themselves. The, in this particular camera, the brand new uh, GYLS 300 has a super 35 millimeter sensor, and that was actually designed and built by JVC. The other big part of the camera is the image processor. Uh, a lot of people don't realize what goes into processing the image in a camera. You think, now well, here you're not talking the sensor; you're talking the software behind the sensor. The software behind the sensor, because there's a lot of data that has to be processed in order to be able to record an image, and that's a very expensive proposition. You don't just design one, build it for one camera, and then go on and design another one. It costs millions and millions of dollars to design that IC that processes that. So you have to plan to amortize that over many cameras over a long period of time. So, I mean, we have a broad camera line. We use the same processor in many cameras. And uh, we have many, many decades of experience in building the video cameras. Okay, but let me ask a negative side to that. If the if the IC, if that software, which is processing the images, needs to be amortized over a long period of time, that makes it really hard to respond to new technology because you're locked into this old coding technology. If How does JVC respond to industry change? Well, that's the key in building those processes. First of all, our designers are very well aware of future trends. You build processing capabilities into those processes processors that allow for those changes. And uh, it also gives you the opportunity not only to build a broader line of cameras. You know, it's not like we're building one camera for one application. We're building cameras that are used in television station studios, for electronic news gathering, uh, all the way down to the consumer level. They build uh, digital processors that can handle the amount of data. They know where the trends are going, so for ha for having a broad line of products is actually an, a, a benefit. And it also allows us to upgrade our cameras. We have three models this year. We're just announcing upgrades. It used to be to make an upgrade, you had to have hardware changes. Now we have firmware changes, and we can add new features and new performance to a camera that we introduced last year and even two years ago. Now, is it a true statement or just way too simplistic to say that cameras today are essentially a computer chip that's got a lens in front of it? A little bit simplistic. There's, a, Of course, the most important part of the camera is the lens because that's what gathers the light and, and presents it to the chip. But the imager chip is very important and the processing and then how you store that. What trade-offs do you make? And there's a lot of trade-offs that have to be made. Uh, a, a, 
4K image, uncompressed, is around 12 gigabits per second. Now, that's a lot of data. You're not going to stream 12 gigabits per second. Not for or long. Or 6 gigabits per second, or 3 gigabits per second. So you've got to make some changes, or the people that are watching this show would not be able to see us. So thinking of that, what are some of the new things that JVC has come out with this year? We introduced a new line of products called 4K Cam. I'm going to hold it here so we can get a close-up of okay. it. Okay. And the 4K Cam series is a new series that offers the ability, obviously, to shoot in 4K, but also to provide a very good, high-quality HD as well. And uh, this particular model, the GYLS 300, as I mentioned, has a Super 35 image sensor. It uses interchangeable lenses. Large imagers are preferred by people that are doing cinematography type work. Because uh, it's got a narrow depth of field. It, it, well, it can have a very narrow depth of field. But what we've done is we've taken it a step further uh, by being able to remap the sensor. And again, this goes into knowing how to design a camera and have an, actually an IC that can go back in real time with that much data and rescan the sensor, you can use different types of lenses on this camera. So just about any lens in your bag can be used. Even a super 16 millimeter lens can be used and you tell the camera, rescan the sensor because I'm using a super 16 so I won't have vignetting all over the picture. So you have a lot more lens options than you would with another competitor's camera, for example. So what is... Uh the big challenge we've got is we take all this 12 gigabits a second of data and boil it down is the codec that we're using, what format we're recording. What choices has JVC made here? Well, we're using H.264, which is the, a very efficient codec. Uh, we're a little too early to go with H.265 or HEVC. Uh, not a lot of standards out there supporting that, but H.264 is very, very widely supported. So you can shoot in 4K with this camera on one or two memory cards, uh, a couple of hours worth of 4K, pop the card out, plug it into uh, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, and you can begin editing immediately. Can we still do XD Cam? Uh, XD Cam is actually MPEG-2. We have a Pro HD line of cameras that can do MPEG-2, but we didn't put MPEG-2 into these cameras. So H.264 better for high resolution images. H.264 is about twice as efficient as MPEG-2. And for people that want to learn more, what website can they go visit? Go, come to uh, pro.jvc.com, or you can go to jvc.com slash 4K. That's the easiest one to remember. And, and you'll learn all about these. That's pro.jvc.com. Dave Walton, Assistant VP, Marketing Communications. Communications. Dave, thank you very much. Always a pleasure, Larry.